why would someone so in in most cases brokerage firms when we talk about so the access server it makes sense that that can be a virtual server it's okay yeah the actual server i've seen brokers who have that also as a cloud server a strong yeah a strong virtual server um what what are the decisions there you know you what, how would you advise a broker um to to pay attention to when it comes to the decision between a cloud for your main trade server versus a dedicated yes so uh, here is where where we need to do to to explain that cloud is not something abstract the opposite cloud is full of bare metal to 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 set up a cloud environment you need 20 or more bare metal machines all those they sit to the data center that you explained before same as the one physical server um, re- resides on, on the same data center so um, regardless the fact that a virtual machine on the cloud um, is is uh, c- consists of several bare metal servers each each instance each cloud instance or virtual machine instance um, it shares some resources with the rest now depends how each provider does the segmentation of resources still it can never give the the performance that a dedicated server will offer to to the to the broker so uh, even if cpu is maxed out uh, even if RAM memory is, is maxed out and, and dedicated, um, regardless how the service provider does the, the storage setup, whether it's on a centralized storage or a storage inside each node, each server, it's still shared. Meaning that if cloud is 10 physical servers together, you are inside one of them like 10 other customers. Whereas on a dedicated server, you are by yourself. Now, depending on the business operation regarding on the software you want to install, there it's where you need to do a small matrix table and check cost. Um, how critical is what I will install. If, if I can have full redundancy on the dedicated server, if not, what am I missing? Is it... Um, lack of redundancy on the storage can I afford losing data is it lack of redundancy on the network can I afford being down so all this um, it's giving the answers to this helps you you know choose uh, whether to go on a virtual server versus on a dedicated from from personal experience um, I we are hosting brokers on, on virtual servers mainly startups um, but when there is a high trading activity um, or high traffic or whatever um, they they will feel it so the same client if they were on a dedicated server uh, that, that would be a totally different case thank you for watching if you like that video and you want to watch the full episode it's available here remember to like subscribe and share it helps the channel